didn't have to, but he gave me the, uh, you won. <laughs> Got my little microphone. I've been having fun with this thing, so I figured I want to bring it to the to the reaction channel. I want to bring it to the reaction channel. <laughs> Make me feel a little podcast-ish. Podcast, podcast-ish. I might come out with one of those. Well, you never know. Daniel Tosh. Black. <laughs> I know about being black, Dane Tosh. What you know about black? Are we talking about the black color crayon? <laughs> black people. What we getting into, Daniel Tosh? Buddy? Old pal? You look happy, too, while you're talking about it. <laughs> Follow me on everything in the description, y'all. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you haven't. Merchandise in the description as well. It's different links. Oh, the mic. Different link over the mic. You made it this far. Smash that like button. We about to get into it. Daniel Tosh. Algorithm comment is black. I like that word. It's a good word. What you got, Daniel? I hope the world ends. In my lifetime. I want to see it. <laughs> That's how you start. I don't want it to end tonight. And I know the hand that I was dealt. When it hits the fan, I don't make good decisions. I die hour one. <laughs> and we need to go north. I don't know where north is. <laughs> I'm going to stay here, guys. <coughs> Dead. <coughs> Some of you, you're going to survive for a while. Good for you. Sizing people up as quick as you can. Do you know how to fly a plane? No? Knife to the throat. Out of my way. You're useless. <laughs> That's what I've learned from watching movies. If anybody ever comes running up to you screaming, do you know how to fly a plane? Muster up some courage in a hurry. Yep. <laughs> Nobody screaming, do you know how to fly a plane, doesn't have horrible things happening right behind them. Just jump in that cockpit, just start flipping switches. Calm down, my plane's a little different. Have you out of here in no time. Does this have a mirror? No? Okay, that was a joke. Ha <laughs> Calm down. My plan a little different. That's how you survive a little bit longer. Hey, I was just watching Independence Day yesterday. Actually, I did it. I watched it. I'm about to drop the movie reaction on my other channel. If you haven't noticed, Mr. It's Mr. Video. <laughs> Quick shout out to my other channel. But, yeah, I just watched uh, Independence Day for the first time, and they needed people to fly. We need people that know how to fly. And he talking about the same thing. If you, ain't, you can't fly, get out of here. I know how to fly, y'all. I can figure it out. I can get in there. You feel me? Kick it, click it, and, and go. I think. <laughs> I watch any TV show with Alaska in the title just so I can see what a real man is supposed to look like. <laughs> or Bear Grylls. I love him. A British Green Beret giving us survival tactics while we sit on the couch and snack. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, who's that show for? I can rule out half the planet. I don't know a woman that can do one pull-up, let alone climb a vine up a waterfall to eat a bat. <laughs> yeah, heads up, ladies, you're gonna die at the bottom. I'm going That's... up there to eat bat. Ladies, don't listen to him. You know how to eat a bat? I saw this episode. I'll tell you, it's not as hard as you think. First thing you have to do, catch a f***ing bat. <laughs> I'm How do out. you do that? <laughs> right. Catch a bat? I'm yeah. gone. I can't kill a fly in under three hours in my house with equipment. You want me to blindly walk into a scary cave and barehand a flying AIDS rat? <laughs> That's literally all he does. He just the walks point. in and just snatches it by the feet or hooves, whatever the bats have. Hey, Daniel, I'm, on, I'm with you on that one. Peter. Here comes the tough part. Then he just bashes it over a rock because he wants his snack tender. Meanwhile, his camera crew's just laughing, eating Luna bars. Like, what the f is wrong with him? <laughs> Doesn't this stinky Brit realize American reality television is fake? We can pause the camera and put granola and pudding down. And be like, you have to eat your bat to survive. He's chewing on a real bat. He's like, uh oh, this could be a poisonous bat. The yeah. F did you just say? <laughs> it's 11:30 at night. I'm trying to go to bed. Now I have to get up and Google what bats are edible. 
I don't if there's know. a faint yellow diamond under the left eye, be wary. Hey. No, no. I don't mess with bats or birds, snakes. I'm, I don't know. I'm not a big uh, animal kind of sewer. I like dolls. I do a cat. You know, I do a cat. Not literally do a cat. <laughs> but I can, I can handle a cat. Dog. Maybe a lizard. Not ferret, though. I, the ferrets scare me. <laughs> fish? I can do fish, too. Simple guy. <laughs> I'm looking at women that aren't laughing. My guess is you're hung up on the part where I said you can't do a pull-up and you checked out. A lot of women can't. I can do a pull-up. Yeah, and there's a reason you're here alone. Your shoulders are gross and nobody likes you. You knock it off with a CrossFit. Nobody needs to flip a tire in 2015. We all have AAA. You haven't had your period in four years for a reason. You're growing a d no. Now lighten up. May I open the door for you? Nope, I've got it. Woman. You're the superior sex. I don't care. Hey, Daniel, chill out. He beat you. You ever get road rage? That's embarrassing. I've had road rage before and won, and I've had road rage and lost. I'm going to tell you two different stories. You can determine which is which. <laughs> the first one I want to point out, I was pretty young at the time. And the only reason I want you to know that is because I don't approve of what I said. But I had just moved out here to Los Angeles. I was in traffic in my Acura with the sunroof open. Yeah, I was doing pretty well from day one. <laughs> I see. Shit. Started from the upper middle-ish, now I'm here. Help me out. <laughs> I was yelling through out. my sunroof at a guy in a delivery truck, and I don't remember what we were fighting over. But at one point, I may have yelled, that's why you have to work on Saturday, you piece of shit. <laughs> and then oh, he buddy. spit a mouthful of Doritos onto me. <laughs> you better have kicked his ass. So I lost, right? If a man spits a mouthful of Doritos on your face, you have two options. You can one, get a machete and murder everyone in his family. Yeah, or that's one. Or two, you can close your sunroof because that psycho is not bluffing. <laughs> I had chewed up Dorito on my lip. I can still feel it right now. I didn't have any napkins in my glove compartment. That was over 15 years ago. You think there's napkins in my glove compartment today? You're goddamn right there is. Every time I go to a restaurant, I take a big fuck you to the environment stack. And they're like, hey, don't take so many napkins. I'm like, I had chewed up Dorito from another man on my face. <laughs> feel my sympathy. Feel my sympathy. You could have kicked. Hey, Daniel. You could have kicked his ass, man. You could have jumped out and said, what are you trying to do, chump? Now, if he got out the car and start screaming, I'm here! Hey, hey, then get back in the car and get out of there because he's crazy. If he jumps out the car and he's ready to just throw down, run. If that's just an intimidator move. It's supposed to make him drive off and say, you're crazy. But if he hops his ass out after you jump out and say, what's up, Chuck? What are you trying to do? Get out of there, Daniel. Hop in the car and go. The intimidation tactic didn't work. Mission failed. Run. This guy's a nutcase. <laughs> and hope he don't follow you in the damn car because now you pissed him off. Now, here's a time more recently that I had road rage. I think I handled things a little more maturely. Again, I was in Los Angeles. I was on the 10 freeway eastbound, middle lane. Don't know what that says about my personality, but that's where you'll find me. <laughs> I'm not an aggressive driver. I drive a station wagon. I was doing nothing wrong. I saw a car changing lanes, driving like a maniac, cutting people off. He was coming toward me. He wanted me to get out of the way. I chose not to. I'm like, fuck it, slam into me. He didn't. But he got on my bumper and he was irritated. He was flipping me off. I noticed he has a wedding ring on and his wife's in the front seat. And at that moment, no, I got real confident. I bet you did. Because I'm like, there's no way you're going to go to the level of crazy that I'm about to. <laughs> Not with your wife sitting next to you. Like at some point, she's going to have to be the voice of reason. Like, stop it, Philip. Just drive. I'm scared. 
So I got real brave, right? I'm flipping them off. I'm brake checking. I'm holding the windshield wiper fluid on. Like, is that your move? Yeah, but very passive aggressive. Oh yeah, he's, I've he's cleared my king. calendar. I'm doing nothing for the rest of my life except irritating this asshole behind me. We're going about 10 miles an hour on the freeway at this point, and he won't pass me. I kind of respect it. I'm out of fluid. My exit's coming up, so I get off the freeway, and then he follows me right off the freeway. And at that moment, the real Daniel came crashing back, where I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, you screwed up. You were supposed to keep driving. Yeah, I was just talking That's about that. That's not your wife. That's a hooker. You're going to murder, isn't it? Like... You gotta think fast, what do you do? Well, I know this exit, it's Robertson exit if you wanna verify it. There's a very large black homeless guy at the bottom with a sign that just said food. I aggressively drove toward him with this guy right on my bumper, slammed on my brakes to a dead stop so he's pinned behind me, can't get around. I roll my window down, I give the guy $20, I say, you need to go crazy on the car behind me. I swear, he doesn't even hesitate. Both hands on the hood, cocks his he head. He paid somebody else to take his phone. like, oh shit, he's gonna murder him too. <laughs> now I got blood on my hands, but I don't really care because it's a homeless guy. I'm like, it's probably not even the worst decision he's made today. So I take off and the driver shoots me one last look and I appreciate it because he certainly didn't have to. But he gave me the, uh, you won. <laughs> <laughs> and I've never hey, that was felt better about move. anything I've ever done in my entire life. You know for the rest of his life, every time he gets in the car with his wife, she's going to be like, you remember the one time with the homeless guy, man? Hey. Smooth moved. Oh, it's almost over. Dan, you to pay somebody to take your fall. He also a dangerous man. That, I ain't never thought of that. Man, hold on, finish it off. Maybe I should drive, that's all I'm saying, hothead. <laughs> so remember that next time you lose your cool behind the wheel. Calm down. Find a homeless person, pay them to do it for you. Way safer, <laughs> and you feel good about yourself. And the only part of that story I embellished even the slightest bit was the amount of money that I gave him. Because if you think I'm giving out 20s, you're f***ing crazier than he was. Thank you very much. What'd you give him? Then what you give him, Daniel? You can't be out here lowballing a guy to get his ass kicked for you. He <laughs> cold-blooded dude. I ain't hear nothing about black people. Why do they call this black then, Daniel? I was thinking something else getting into this. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> You, you slid through that perfectly, Dan. You slid, you. Daniel Tosh. I'm going to have to get into more of Daniel Tosh, y'all. He seemed like a pretty confident guy. Like, you know, he's himself. And that's who you get. He's not going to try to act like anybody else. Like, say he's in a different crowd and he might... I don't know. I can't explain it. You, you just get Daniel Tosh. When you, read, when you run into Daniel, you get him. That's, that's what you get. You can care less. What's the next Daniel Tosh I should do? If I should do any more, guys, put it in the comments. Until next time.